Looking at the best of what's coming up, this is Indie Anticipation, Volume 1. Of all the games that will appear on this list, I don't think any of them have been anticipated for quite as long as Black Myth. The inaugural game from Chinese developer Game Science, Black Myth has been held up as a prime example of the rising Chinese indie scene, and we've only recently had a chance to see it in action. Based on the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West, Black Myth puts the player in control of the titular Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. Possessing an array of superhuman powers to rival Superman, Sun Wukong is a superb protagonist for an action RPG. Combine the fast and fluid gameplay with visuals far beyond the norm for indies, and you really have something worth holding your breath over. Snowcastle Games' 2016 game Earthlock Festival of Magic was an interesting game, if very rough. The more polished 2018 re-release improved things a lot, showing off how far ahead of the curve the developers were. Now that this 2000s-era visual and gameplay aesthetic is becoming popular again, Earthlock really looks like it was leading the wave. Earthlock 2 promises to take the original concept to whole new heights, mixing up the gameplay and generally taking a more ambitious route. While Snowcastle has only revealed a little bit about the game, they have let us know that the sequel will be open world and a lot larger than the relatively compact original. Strategy games are a challenge to design, as there are just so many big names with long pedigrees in the genre. One approach to creating a new strategy game is to take some small aspect of those established games and delve into it with renewed sophistication, such is the case with Espiocracy, which, as the name suggests, focuses on the unseen world of espionage. Unlike most strategy games, the player does not control a country, but rather its intelligence apparatus. The goal is to advance the client country's interests using any means short of war, though if other countries want to fight amongst each other, that's obviously fine. Fulfilling this mission entails navigating a world of shadow diplomacy, negotiating with rival nations, non-state actors, dissident factions, and one's own turncoat assets. Mega Man has long been a big inspiration for indie developers, but Mega Man-like games have been getting so ambitious and polished that they may be moving beyond their inspirations. Berserk Boy is definitely based on Mega Man Zero, but stirs in a lot of panache to make this an outstanding game in its own right. Kai, the titular Berserk Boy, is an incredibly fast and fanciful hero with a range of abilities to deal with his enemies. He can zip between targets and link attacks into long, flashy combo chains, and that's just in his default form. With four additional forms adding a variety of combat and movement options, there's a lot of space for players to build their own styles. Surrealism has always been a big part of the video game experience, and Dream Channel Zero leans into that in a big way. The game follows two seemingly normal youths who find themselves trapped in an ancient game world, contending with bizarre entities as they seek a way back to the real world. Between the unreal visuals, mystically minimalistic soundtrack, and a whimsical cast of characters, Dream Channel Zero is a game meant to hook the player with the enticement of what comes next. It's a game meant for anyone who wants to step away from the usual and see how wonderfully weird indies can get. Now let's end this roundup with my own most anticipated game. 3D platformers are always a challenge for indie developers, but the plucky squire might just be up to that challenge and then some. The game follows the misadventures of Jot, a literal storybook hero banished into the real world by the book's villain. The Plucky Squire features a lot of gameplay variety, with Jot encountering many homages to, or parodies of, other famous video games as he journeys across the desk that is his world. This journey also shows off the game's wonderful visual design, with an odd blend of highly realistic ray traced 3D assets and stylized, high contrast storybook style 2D assets. It is an amazing looking game, and I, for one, can't wait to see it in action.